What's up guys, in this video, I am going to show you how to customize your WooCommerce checkout page in such a way that will optimize your conversion rate and help you get more sales from your website. The checkout page that you are seeing right now is the default checkout page on WooCommerce. So you can see it very generic and very boring. There are a lot of details here that you don't actually need on your checkout page. For instance, you have this coupon section at the top, which can be distracting to your customers. And then in the billing details section, there are too many input fields here. And sometimes you don't really need all of these. And then you have this option for other nodes and all of that. The overall structure of this default checkout page is not optimized to help you get more sales. That's why you notice there are a lot of people coming over to your checkout page, but not a lot of them are actually converting into sales. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a very modern checkout page that looks like this. With this, when people come over to this page, the first thing they see is this personalized message. And then you can see that the form is very simple. You only have the fields that are necessary for this transaction. And then they can get to see their order summary. And then if they have a coupon code, they'll click here to enter their coupon code. That's no longer a discussion. And then they can get select their payment method and then proceed to place order. Another very cool thing about this page that I have here is by the side, you see some extra details. We have testimonials, which can be very helpful in helping your customers make the decision to buy. And then we also have a money by guarantee and some other features. What I have here is very simple, but with card flows, you can customize this page whichever way you want it to be. So let's dive in. Come over to your WordPress dashboard, plugins, and then add new. And over here, you can just search for card flows. And this is a plugin that we need, WooCommerce Checkout and Funnel Builder by Cardflows. And if you check the description of this plugin, you are going to see WooCommerce Checkout and Funnel Builder to boost conversion and revenue with beautiful and optimized checkout pages and funnels. It's a very popular plugin with over 200,000 active installations. And there are other very interesting Cardflows plugin that will give you more features on your e-commerce website. For instance, they have this WooCommerce Cart Abandonment Recovery, um, Variation Swatches for WooCommerce by Cardflows. And and these plugins will basically give you the essential tools you need to be more profitable with your e-commerce website. Another way to increase your conversion rate and make more profit from your e-commerce website is through email marketing. And that's because of three reasons. First, over 90% of your customers who will reach the checkout page will not complete the purchase on their first try. Sending out emails to follow up and remind them of the order can help you get more conversions. Secondly, email marketing is the most effective way to communicate with your customers whenever you have new products, new offers, or new updates in your business. And finally, your email list is the only marketing asset that you own 100%. Google and social media algorithms will keep changing, and these changes can sometimes affect the attention and traffic you get to your website. But you have total control of your email list, which can give you more guaranteed results anytime. And that is why I always recommend the email marketing for WooCommerce plugin by Omnisend if you want to be more successful and make more profit from your e-commerce website. This plugin integrates with WooCommerce and you can use it to easily create email subscription forms, send SMS and email newsletters to your subscribers, set up email automations, and send follow-up emails to recover abandoned cards. According to this report, you can see that Omnisend customers in the US get an average return on investment of $72 for every $1 spent. I have been using Omnisend personally for my business and it's been amazing. You can install this plugin on your e-commerce website. They have a free plan with a lot of benefits. And if you use my discount code Emmanuel, when you upgrade to any of the paid plans, you will get 5% off for the first three months. Once again, the link to sign up on Omnisend and my 5% discount code would be in the description. And with all of that said, let's move on to customizing our checkout page. So let's go ahead and install this plugin. Click install now, and then just activate immediately to help you get started easily. Cardflows is going to take you through a series of setup steps. You can try to close this and then set everything up for yourself when you are ready. But right now, I'll just go ahead and click on Start. And then here, select the page builder you want to use. So I'm going to select Elementor. And this is one very interesting thing about Cardflows. You can use the page builder of your choice to customize your checkout pages and funnels. So I'll just select Elementor and then click Save and Continue. Then let's install some required plugins. I have WooCommerce installed already, but you can go ahead and install the cart abandonment recovery plugin. I'll check it and then click install and activate. And then here you can select the checkout design you want to use. You just want to go with the one that you like the most. I'll just pick this for instance. 
and this is a preview of what my checkout page is going to look like now you can upload or change the logo that you have here you can change the primary color as well but i'll just go ahead and click import and continue so the final step you can just go ahead and enter your first name and your email address and that will allow card flows to send you reports about your website so i'll just click save and continue and we are done with the setup process i'll just click finish store setup let me go ahead and open the checkout page that I'm currently using on this website. So let's say add this to cart, view cart, and then proceed to checkout. And this is what it looks like right now. This is the default WooCommerce checkout page. And for this website, for instance, I'm actually selling an online course. And for an online course, I don't really need to get the street address you know, the town, the state, and all of that of the customers. Name, email, and phone number would be just enough. And um, I don't need these other notes and all of that. So let's come over and activate our new checkout page on Cardflows. And here you are going to notice that you have three tabs under this plugin. You have your dashboard, where you are going to see all the analytics of your online store. Then if you come over to funnels, here you can create complete sales funnels for specific products on your website. So the checkout page that we have here will apply to all the products that you have on your website. This is the checkout page that they are all going to use. But with Catflows, you can also create sales funnels with their own landing page, checkout page, and thank you page for specific products on your website. So I'm going to talk about that in a moment. And if you come back to store checkout, this is where you can work with the general checkout page on your website. That's this page. So what I'm going to do first is to enable this as my store checkout. And now let's come over and refresh this page so you can see that our new checkout page has been applied and this looks far better than what we had before and then you can decide to add a new step if you want but i'm not going to do that right now also you can start to click to edit the checkout page that you have with Elementor. And Elementor basically gives you all the freedom you need to customize your website whichever way you want to have it. So for instance, the checkout page is too wide. So I could just select this section and then come over to content width and then use boxed. And this looks too small. So I'll just increase the width a little bit to something like maybe 1,300 pixels. I think that should do. So just type in 1,300 and let's save and see now. All right, so this is better. If you already know how to use Elementor, all of these steps will be very, very easy for you. So you can start to customize these different tags I have, but I'm, not, I'm going to remove all of this so that we don't really have too many editing to do. So have my testimonials, you can customize testimonial, the font type you want to use, the color, you can do the same for all of these options here. Here for the money back guarantee section, I want to use a different icon for this. So I'll just click choose image and then I'll upload the file I want to use. This is it, I'll just click select. And now we have it right there. You can start to customize the width of the image, that's up to you. Then you can also customize the title that you have here and the description for your description, I'll just type in, let me use if for any reason you're not happy with our product and all of that. So I'll click update. Now you can go ahead and also customize all of these other stuff that I have, but I'm just going to leave these the way they are right now so that this video will not get too long. But if you want to see a full Elementor tutorial from start to finish, let me know in the comment section. And I'm going to create a complete Elementor tutorial that will show you how to use Elementor step by step. All right now, let me refresh this page and see what we have. And yeah, this is better. And one more thing I would like to do here is to reduce the number of input fields that we have on this billing form. So let's go back and exit Elementor. Leave this page and then here you want to select the settings icon that you have on the checkout step so you select this and then come over to checkout form and here we have coupon field enabled but if you don't want it you can turn it off collapsible coupon field i want that to be checked for instance if we come over here let me scroll down and yeah if the customer has a coupon code they can just click on this and then add their coupon code Unlike the default view, where you just have that distracting um, at the top, then enable additional field. I'm going to turn this off. 
then enable ship to different address. I don't need that. I'm selling an online course, so there's no shipping. And then enable Google address auto complete. You can turn that on if you want. Then billing fields, I just need first name, last name. Don't really need company name. I don't really need country and region. No need for street address. And um, town, city, state. Don't need all of that. And um, I'll leave phone number and email address. And then I'll click save settings. Now you can also scroll down and do a lot of stuff with the form headings. And then you have the place order button. That is the button that you have right here. So here you'll be able to customize the text that you have inside of this button. Let me say buy now. And then enable lock icon. You can start to check or uncheck this. That's up to you. And then if you want the price to be displayed inside of the button, just the way I have here, you can have that. But I'm going to check this off for now. And let's save settings and refresh this page. And yeah, we have a more concise form, first name, last name, phone number. And right now, this form that we have here is more easier for customers to complete and then proceed instead of them spending all the time trying to enter all of those details. And then you can see there's no space for additional details. We remove that. And then we have the buy now button looking good right here. So these are some of the customizations you can make to your checkout page. Dynamic offers, you need a pro plan to get this. And then under settings, this is where you can get to set the slug for this step, step node, custom script. Let's say you have a pixel that you want to add to the page. You can put that here. Then you can display product images and then enable um, just in case the customers would like to modify you know, their cart. So this is basically how you can customize your checkout page. And then you have the thank you page. So you can click on settings. And here you can apply all the settings you want for your thank you page, enable other preview, other details, all of these are checked. Then the slog, and then if you want to advanced, if you want to redirect your customers to a different page after purchase, you can add the URL here. But I'm going to leave that for now, and then click Save Settings. And as simple as that, we are done customizing our checkout page. So let me just go ahead and try to buy this product. Let's see what will happen. Okay, session has expired, I'll refresh. Okay, let me get the product again. Add to cart, view cart, and then proceed to checkout. And then first name, last name, phone number, and then we already have our email address registered here, so no need to enter email address. I'll click buy now. And let's say this transaction was successful. I'll click pay, and it will immediately redirect us to where we can start going through this course. Very simple and very smooth. Now, aside from the general checkout page of your website, like I mentioned earlier, you can create funnels for specific products that you have on your website as well. So here I could just click on create funnel. And then here you can get select any of these templates. Some of them are paid. You need to upgrade to the pro plan, but they also have a lot of cool free ones as well. Let me view the steps in search engine optimization. And this has three steps, the landing page, the checkout page, and then the thank you page. So let's say I like this. I'll just go ahead and click on import funnel and then enter the name of your funnel, my custom funnel, for instance. But in practice, you want to give it a relevant name. So click on import funnel. And this is the new funnel we just created. I can click on settings. And here's the slug for our funnel. This is going to be part of the URL um, for this funnel. So it's very important that you have something meaningful here. And then if you want to allow search engines to be able to index this page, you can turn that on. And then um, you can add custom scripts. You can also enable global styling. So you can get select colors and all of that. So I'm going to click on save settings. And now you can go ahead and customize the different steps that you have in this funnel. You can use Elementor to customize the landing page. You can do the same for the checkout page and the thank you page. For the checkout page, here you can see it says no product assigned. We need to assign a product to this funnel. So you can just click on settings. And here I'll just go ahead and click on find products. So just look for, let's say this, and then click on add. And then click save settings. Then you can go on to all these different tabs. Checkout form, you can customize the checkout form just like we did earlier. And once you are done with all of that, 
your funnel should be ready for use. So let's see what our funnel looks like right now. And let me close this tab. And this is the landing page. So let's say you are running ads, on Facebook, Instagram, wherever. This is the link you are going to use on the ad. And once we come back to this page, they see all the details that you have. And if they are convinced, they can go ahead and click on buy now. And this will bring them over to the checkout page. And you can see this is a more customized experience that can give you better results. Customers will come over here, enter their details, and then click on place order. And if the payment goes through, immediately it is going to redirect them to the thank you page, which is, you know, the cost page where they can start going through the cost. And this is basically how to use Cardflows to create modern and customized checkout pages and sales funnels for your e-commerce website. If you got value from this video, please go ahead and smash the thumbs up button to give this video a like. I really appreciate that. And if you want to see more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe, turn on the bell notification. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.